motivating. I have a question to Monica Ma'am. How do male writers write about African women? Pardon, come again. How do male writers write about African women? Oh, <laughs> that's a good question. African male writers or from all over the world, specifically? Africa. Oh, yeah, they talk, they, they do write about the, Afri the strength of the African woman. The male writers, the ancient ones, used to be so patriarchal and they would just put the woman in, on the back burner. But right now, they are bringing out the qualities of the woman. Um, I have another answer to that. There, there's a really old, old, old love song from Africa. It was set in Egypt in about 2000 BC. It's called A Love Poem, and it's a man and a woman speaking. It was probably authored by a man, but it's so beautiful because the, the lovers speak to each other, and they're talking about each other's virtues, each other's good points. And at the end, their voices sort of come together, and you don't know where the man is and where the woman is anymore. And it's so uplifting. And this was on the African continent 2,000 years ago, before a lot of invasions took over and changed the way Africans see themselves and the way the rest of the world sees Africa. But also, right now, um, there was a debate. Um, and some African writers do not know how to write about African women. It's very body. They write about the African woman's body without giving her a brain. Um, and there was a debate on the internet not so long ago about a book that did really, really well, but wasn't so positive to women. And nobody was addressing that. Nobody was talking about that. So there's still work to be done. Men, African writers need to learn how to write about women in all their complex ways, because we're not just about bodies. Yeah. Uh, I think I should also build on that because I have a slightly different view from Kenya. Because there's this man known as Ngugi Wationgo. If you read his books, he talks beautifully of the African woman. So I have a slightly, just a little bit different. And I think it differs from country to country. So you cannot just largely say that the African man says this about the African woman. Because some of them will portray her as someone who should stay in the back banners. But then there are some others who want to bring her to the front.